all year long. We have good character guys. They know what's at stake. Um, now it's about going out and executing. And, uh, you know, it won't be for lack of effort or lack of preparation. Guys will be ready to play, and they know what's at stake. It's been tough, you know, just trying to get back, getting my conditioning right. But um, I think that um, my, my foot definitely feels better. I'm in practically no pain. It's a little tender, but i um, just excited to be out there on the court. You know, it's going to be a heated game. Uh, we know that, but, uh, you know, they're battling, we're battling, and we got to protect the home court. So they got us down there in Miami, and we got to repay the favor. But, you know, the only way we're going to do that is by, you know, controlling Dwayne as best we can, not turning it over and executing what we need to. You know, this is a big game for both teams. Uh, you know, we're trying to get in the playoff picture. They're trying to stay in it. And, uh, you know, they're all big for us right now, and uh, we're going to, you know, play hard, go out there and compete. You know, it's a team defense. It's not one guy against, uh, you know, Dwayne and the top players. and. You know, really, we got to, you know, do a good job of, of not turning it over and taking away the easy baskets, keeping him off the free throw line, staying down on his pump fakes, controlling uh, his penetration as best you can because he does a really good job because everyone focuses in on him. When he has, you know, points and a big assist number, that's when you have a lot of trouble with him. You know, what's been uh, the difference in the last few games with the defense? Obviously, Noah's back, but he's only he's played limited minutes. What's been the big difference with the defense? Uh, you know, I just think, uh, you know, guys, we've been together a little bit more, um, had a little bit more practice with the new guys. Joe's given us some spirit, even though his minutes are down. I thought Derek and Kurt did a really good job the last couple games with uh, ball pressure and controlling the penetration of the basketball, which is always key. Um, and, you know, when, you, when you're playing, like I said yesterday, when you're playing Cleveland and Dallas and Utah on the top teams, I mean, they're going to make you pay when you make a mistake, and that's what they did. And Second shots really hurt us against those teams, and when you give them second opportunities, it hurts your overall defense. You know, it's one of those things that, you know, when we want to do it, you know, we can do it. We just have to do it uh, more consistently, and, you know, that's even more important coming down the stretch here. Kirk, you'll uh, try and win them all, and certainly you'll have opportunities against Charlotte, Toronto, and even Miami on Thursday night. Is it at all frustrating waking up in the morning and seeing that they're beating other teams in the, in the game tomorrow? Yeah, you know, we know we're going to need a little help, but uh, at the same time, we're, we're uh, we feel like uh, we've been playing better lately and uh, feel like we still have a shot at this. So, you know, we're pretty upbeat and uh, optimistic about our chances. Every game is a playoff game for us. Um, you know, we just got to stay mentally strong mm -hmm. and understand that every game is really important. Um, we're trying to make a push into these playoffs right now. We're a couple games behind. So, you know, we just got to stay on edge, stay focused, and, um, and really focus on the moment.